this is MK Tech. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can make a 12 volts to 24 volts DC to DC boost converter circuit. If you want to power any 12 volts appliance from a 12 volts power supply, so the IC for this project is the UC3843. It's a switch mode power supply driver IC. It generates a PWM signal. So the circuit is a classical boost converter consisting of the adapter L1, the output short key diode T1, the transistor T1, and the PWM IC. You see that 843 are shown here. So for the input you have 12 volts, you can have a fuse to limit the current to when it gets inside item yes, it will blow and protect your circuit. So you have these filtering capacitors. Then you have the IC. So the frequency is determined by the value of the RT and CT components as shown here. So CT is 150 picofarads and RT is 150 kilohms. This will generate an output frequency of an about 42,000 hertz. So when the output pin 6 is high, so it means that this transistor MOSFET T1 will conduct. So it will have current to flow from the positive rail through the inductor and to ground. So this means that magnetic energy will build within the inductor as current flows. So if you look at it, you have a current sensing resistor. So when current flows through, a voltage drop will be established here and this will depend to the current sensing pin 3. So when it exceeds the set current, so it, it basically will limit the output frequency or it will basically just disengage pin 6. So it will prevent further increase in the current which is being conducted to ground. So when the output pin 6 is low, so this MOSFET will be instantly turned off and since current has no further path to flow, it will flow through this output short key diode into the output filtering capacitors as shown here or to the load. So this process repeats many thousand times per second uh, and so the output voltage will be dependent on the duty cycle but for that we have this feedback section made of RX and this 4.7 kilo ohms resistor. So the value of RX and this other feedback resistor establishes uh, the reference voltage at pin 2 here. So if you have them fixed as shown here, you can have a fixed output voltage. But if you want a variable output voltage, which you can have even for up to 60 volts, you can instead use an adjustable resistor for RX as shown here. You can play around with different values to obtain to see the output voltage you can get. So you, it's a rather simple circuit yet it's powerful enough. It can generate up to 150 watts if you have a powerful inductor, a powerful and a powerful transistor. For the inductor, I recommend you use you use one with an inductor so. 100 to 220 microhenders. For the transistor, I recommend you use one with a drain source voltage rating more than what you expect in the output. You can use the IRF 215 MOSFETs. They have a good voltage rating as well as current rating. Ensure that your MOSFET can use 320 amperes from output power. And basically, that's, that's it. So, drop a like below. Comment, subscribe to my channel for more amazing tutorials and projects and I'll see you in the next episode.